Hey everybody, welcome back to Newegg TV. I am Q Salazar. I'm here with JJ from ASUS, and he is here with us to introduce a brand new line of motherboards from ASUS called the Pro Gaming Series, right? Yeah, that's uh, exactly it. Uh, this is an entirely brand new series for us at ASUS. Uh, this doesn't happen all the time. If you mm -hmm. talk about our different board divisions, uh, some of them have been around as long as our mainstream series, 25 years, ROG is approaching 10 years, uh, TUF is approaching, I think, about nine years. And now uh, we also have our WS, which has been around for a long time, and now the Pro Gaming Series. So uh, definitely an exciting moment to be able to uh, bring an entirely new series custom tuned to a new set of uh, DIY and gamers out there. Nice. If you haven't checked out our mainstream motherboard series video or our ROG motherboard series video, make sure you check those out. But right now, we're going to check out these brand new Pro Gaming Series motherboards. So JJ, with this new line of motherboards, this Pro Gaming Series, where does it align with what you guys are trying to do? Who are you guys targeting with uh, these boards here? Well, a lot is in the name, right? And so that we're calling these series of motherboards the Pro Gaming line. So it's definitely targeted towards gamers and towards enthusiasts. But some people might ask, of course, well, what about ROG? ROG is Republic of Gamers. So of course, isn't that inherently a gaming motherboard brand? Right. Uh, and that definitely holds true. But ROG was really designed from the very beginning to push the envelope in terms of its design, its innovation, its features and its performance, really be the leader in the industry taking us forward at really pushing all aspects of the way that a motherboard complements the experience for a gamer and an enthusiast. And so what we want to achieve uh, with the Pro Gaming Series is still be able to provide an outstanding experience for gamers and enthusiasts, mm -hmm. um, but at a more aggressive price point. So it course continues to offer the stability, the reliability, um, the quality that you would expect from any ASU series motherboard and what we're bringing over in terms of the features and functionality, many of them are derived from the ROG series of boards. But they won't necessarily carry, carry the same cutting edge kind of features or the more premium advanced design, but all the way around we're still going to have an awesome set of features and functions that are really going to elevate the DIY experience. Okay, so we have the Z170 Pro Gaming motherboard, and we also have the Z170i Pro Gaming motherboard. Can you talk about little uh, the little differences between those? Sure. So I think right off the bat, you can see that there's actually a pretty big difference in yeah. terms of the form factor. Right, so, right. Uh, as you noted, they're both actually in the name. It's a Z170 based chipset, so that means it's an overclocking oriented chipset. Fully supports overclocking for the CPU and for the DRAM. You also have multi GPU support and everything else that comes along with the performance oriented chipset. Um, and that's also another area where there'll be a little bit of difference from ROG. ROG will only produce Z170 series motherboards. Under the Pro Gaming line, though, you will see also B and H series based chipsets. Um, but going back into these boards specifically, we can see here with the Pro Gaming, we've got an ATX, so right. a full size base board. And this is really what most gamers are probably going to approach when they go about building a system. But over the definitely the last couple of years, we've seen a lot more interest in smaller form factor builds, whether in micro ITX or mini ITX. And you can see right here, that's what we have with the Dash I. This is a mini ITX oriented motherboard, um, but carries really a lot of the same features and functionality that you have in the bigger board. So one of the new things with the Z170 is DDR4. What have you guys done for DDR4? So that's actually one of the things that we always look at at every platform launch is how to really maximize the performance, uh, the interoperability, and the functionality you're going to be able to have for memory. Um, Asus has really had a hallmark of really offering the best memory experience. And definitely for the Pro Gaming series, uh, that's fundamentally present. So regardless of the different type of memory that you're going to pick, the XMP profiles you're going to pick, they're going to mm -hmm. be fully interoperable, fully compatible. Um, and actually for the ATX board, which features four DIMM slots, we have our second generation T topology design, which will give you outstanding memory overclocking even with full memory population. Okay. Um, we also, both the boards will feature our ROG RAM cache software. So this is pretty cool because what it would allow you to do is take larger memory density configurations and actually be able to use that to improve the overall performance that you have available to you uh, for your storage array, whether you're talking about M.2 based SSDs, which is on both boards, as well as locally attached storage devices. Okay, great. So when it comes to terms of uh, networking, performance, audio, what are we looking at here? Um, so those are actually some of the key areas that we really want to focus on improving to be able to uh, provide a superior experience to gamers. So um, in areas of performance, we really want to be able to make sure that the overall VRM design and the overall power delivery design is really going to be able to provide a great level of stability and reliability, uh, especially as you overclock the platform. Because while these are going to be more price aggressive, we don't want it to compromise on the experience that users might have. In that same regard, both boards are also going to offer our five-way optimization technology, which will include the auto-tuning. So with auto-tuning, that'll allow you at the 
click, click of a button, you'll be able to go ahead and dynamically overclock your CPU specific to your CPU cooler, to the memory, to the power supply you have installed. It's a really mm -hmm. robust option and it's a great for especially a lot of novice users or users that are looking to first build a first uh, gaming PC. On the audio side, you know, we've been talking about how you're a big fan of audio, whether it's music, movies, or games. Right, right, totally. Um, and definitely, we want to be able to improve upon that experience. And for ROG, we took it to a whole other level in terms of incorporating a lot of really specialized new design and new hardware. Um, what we have here, though, is really the tried and true Supreme FX audio design that we've had on previous generation ROG series motherboards. Okay. So you've got an isolated audio design, you have Japanese audio grade capacitors, you have an operational amplifier, you even have our Sonic Radar 2 audio package. So nice. still something that's going to really give you a nice uh, experience, whether you're going to be in your music, your movies, or your games, you're going to have a great audio experience. On the networking side, uh, we've definitely also gone ahead and implemented our same packet priority software that we had okay. on ROG. So at the touch of a button, you'll be able to go ahead and optimize for lower ping, uh, lower latency, or be able to tune it towards better streaming or better downloading or better file transferring. Whatever the network-centric service you're going to run, the touch of a button, you can go ahead and do that. And one of the nice things is, uh, of course, on this board, there's no Wi-Fi. But a okay. lot of times on these smaller form factor boards, users want to complement uh, being able to move around the system more flexibly. So we yeah. give you both Wi-Fi, 811 AC, and the Intel Gigabit Ethernet. So um, the great thing that you have with the Game First 3-pack party software is that it can work uh, with both types of network interfaces. Okay. So whether you're the Wi-Fi or the integrated option, you have that available to you. And that would also be an option on the ATX baseboard, where you can go ahead and utilize the Game First 3-pack party software. Either on an add-in wireless adapter or with the Intel integrated gigabit. Okay, so if you guys checked out our other videos of the mainstream motherboard series or the Republic of Gamers, the ROG motherboard series, um, the accessories for the mainstream, they all work with these too, right? Yes, uh, so the entire complement that we're going to have in terms of accessories, whether you're talking about you know, the NFC breakout box, the Qi wireless charging solution, uh, all those, and also as well as the fan expert extension card uh, are supported. Although the fan extension card is exclusive to the ATX board, with the mini ATX board, it doesn't support that. But the board still does offer for all the chassis fan headers PWM output support. So if you're going into a higher performance mini form factor build, you can still have the ability to go ahead and use like a PWM fan splitter cable to be Mm -hmm. able to go ahead and, and have multiple fans powered all by that. Okay. And both boards will still give you the fan expert calibration software functionality that we've offered for a long time uh, across a wide range of our boards. But we did want to take a closer look at the ROG front base. So as we noted on the ROG series, this is actually one of these products that while it's not pro gaming in name, has been made to be fully interoperable and compatible with what we're going to have here on the pro gaming ATX board. So really the key benefit that you're going to have here is this brings you kind of a, another degree of flexibility for an enthusiast or a gamer that really wants the best experience, especially when when it comes to audio. So traditionally, when you talk about audio connectivity on a motherboard, it's going to sometimes be limited by the actual cable connection that you have inside of a chassis. That cable can sometimes pick up interference, pass that over to you, and that just ultimately degrades your audio experience. So what we had, had uh, what we did is we developed a specialized cable. Uh, so this is the cable right here. It's fully shielded. And this cable allows you to go ahead and connect this directly to the motherboard, and we then connect that here to this front base. So it allows us to maximize the Supreme FX audio design and give you a better microphone and headphone experience. On top of that, you've got some really cool functionality where you can go ahead and at the touch of a button be able to see different types of information like your temperature, your fan speed, you can go ahead and control your fan speed, you can do one touch overclocking, you can do profile adjustments, you can do quick charging for let's say your mobile devices, mm -hmm. and you even have a quick escape button to be able to go ahead and immediately drop back to your desktop. Um, so all the way around a really awesome accessory which helps just improve the overall gaming and DIY experience uh, for users that are going to be taking a look at the ATX board. Uh, on the mini ATX side, this accessory wouldn't be supported. Okay. So just to wrap up, is there anything you can show us that's uh, unique about the I.O. ports on these boards? So while these are mid-range series boards, definitely the back I.O. is still really robust and we've got a wide degree of flexibility and connectivity. So everything from USB 3 to USB 3 Type 1, we also have on the ATX board, we have a Type C based connection. Uh, you also have support for our AR Charger Plus technology, which will allow you to quick charge uh, your devices, whether nice. you're talking about a tablet or a smartphone, even when your system's powered off. Oh, wow. And new for this generation, we can also do quick charging while also still doing data transfer, which in previous okay. generations you kind of had to pick one or the other. Um, we also maintain Intel Gigabit Ethernet connectivity with our new LandGuard technology. So that's also an ROG derived uh, feature where we've improved the physical connector for improved reliability and stability, as well as helping to mitigate things like ESD and surges and spikes. Um, and rounding things out, uh, we maintain a robust level of line level connectivity for audio. And on the mini ITX, as we noted, we have uh, 811 AC wireless along okay. with Bluetooth. 
Nice, perfect. Once again, JJ, thanks for joining us and introducing this brand new line of uh, motherboards, man. We really appreciate it. As always, it's great being here and giving you guys a first look opportunity at all the hard work we put into our next generation motherboards. Right on, we appreciate it. Once again, guys, if you haven't checked out our mainstream motherboard series video or our ROG motherboard series video, make sure you go check that out now with JJ. We delve deep into these motherboards, so um, make sure you check those out. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.